Today we are going to be building and deploying a fast API app in Python. And in order to do this, you are going to need to have a GitHub account. You're going to need to have a Koyeb account and you're going to need to have Python installed on your machine. Once you have all that stuff ready, we can go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the folder where we run our project. I'm just going to say make directory and let's just call this Koyeb fast API. We do this and now I'm going to go ahead, open this in my editor of choice, which for me is VS code. So I'll do code Koyeb fast API. Now that we've got our project opened and set up, we need to go ahead and get a few things ready. The first thing I'm going to want to do is create my virtual environment. In order to do this, I'm going to first open up a new terminal within my terminal. I'm going to run the command Python three M VNV VNV for you. This might be just Python M on my machine. I have it installed as Python three, just use whichever one works for you. We're going to go ahead and run this. It'll take a second and it will create our virtual environment. Now that we have our virtual environment, we need to go ahead and actually run our virtual environment and use it for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and run dot VNV slash bin slash activate. This will activate our virtual environment and you can see within my terminal, we are now running within Koyev fast API. So I have everything I need here. Now we can go ahead and get our dependencies installed. The two dependencies we're going to be using for this project are fast API and Uvicorn. These two will allow us to create the API and run the HTTP server. So I'll go ahead and install those two here. And once we have these installed, we need to go ahead and create a requirements.txt so that Koyeb will A, know that we're running a Python application, and B, when we run our project in production, it'll know which packages we need to install. We're going to go ahead and run a pip freeze and then pipe that into a requirements.txt. We go ahead and run that. We're going to have our brand new requirements.txt, and now we are ready to create the actual project. For this project, we're just doing a hello world, so I'm going to go ahead and run uh, create a main.py. Within this main.py, we're going to need a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our typing system. This will be really, really useful for auto-generating documentation for our API. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is just import fast API itself. From there, we're going to go ahead, initialize our new fast API. And finally, we can go ahead and create our root endpoint. So whenever we go to the root of our application, we'll just get a hello world. I can go ahead and save this. And now if we want to run it locally, all we have to do is run Uvicorn at main app reload, hit enter. We'll go ahead and spin up a server on localhost 8000. I'll go ahead and open this. I get a hello world at the root. And if I do slash docs, we can go ahead and now get some auto generated fast API documentation within my get request. It's going to return a string. And if we expanded this out, we get a lot more. But for today, this is all we need. Now that our project is ready, we need to go ahead and deploy this. We're going to go ahead and use Git driven deployments here. Creates automatic CI CD for us is really just a great experience. I'm going to go ahead and create my new Git repository. I'm just going to call this Koya fast API. I'm going to make this private. I am not going to initialize with a readme or any of this stuff. We're just going to go ahead and create this repository. Now that we've created this repository, we need to go ahead and get this linked to our local code base. So in order to do that, we're going to first go in here. We're going to say git init. Now that we've created our git repository, we want to add our main.py and our requirements.txt to our project. So we're going to go ahead and say git add requirements.txt and main.py. Now we're going to go ahead and commit these. So we're going to say git commit dash M and I'm just going to say init. And now that we've done this, we need to link it to our remote repository. The command for linking it to a remote repo can be found within your GitHub page. You're just going to want to copy this line right here. For me, it's git remote add origin BM Davis 419 slash Koyev fast API. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to paste this in here. And then the last piece we need here is this git push dash U origin main. We're going to do that. We're going to paste this in here. And now all of our code, or at least the important parts of our code are hosted within Git. I'll go back to my GitHub page. I'm going to refresh this page. And now we have our main.py and our requirements.txt. Now let's get this deployed on Koyeb. In order to get this deployed, like I said, you will need a Koyeb account. I'm going to go ahead and log into mine real quick. I'll log in here. I'm in my personal organization here. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a new web service. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to import from GitHub. I'm going to right here. It picks up the right repo immediately because it's the most recent. So we'll go into Koyev fast API. And then now we don't need to change too much. I'm just going to leave this name as a default. Uh, the one setting we need to change here is if we go into our build and deployment settings, we need to override the run command in here and set that to be uvicorn main app dash host, and then set that to 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. 
Once we've changed this, we have everything set up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and run this on an Eco instance. It's completely free. This is perfect for development and testing stuff out. Uh, I'm in the US, so I'm going to go ahead and set this to the Washington DC region and create this new app. I'm going to rename mine to Python Demo. And now that we've done this, we can go ahead and deploy. And just like that, we have our project building. You're going to go ahead and see here, you'll get your logs for your build. You can see all the information about your instance, and we'll just see how this works. All right, excellent. And if you followed this tutorial all the way through, you should see build succeeded down here at the bottom. And if we give this another couple seconds, we will now have an app hosted at this public URL up here. We'll go ahead and let it run its checks. And just like that, our instances are up and running. We have our app hosted to 8,000. Everything's hooked up. I click on this URL right here and we get our hello from Koyeb in production.